Hello everyone, Ken here, back with another video for you. Today I'm going to show you how to build a data science portfolio website using GitHub Pages. This is hosted online completely free by GitHub, and I think that this is a great way to showcase your work to potential employers. This is what we're going to be building today. It's going to look just like this. Very simple as you can see, but it shouldn't take you more than 10 or 15 minutes. Why would you want to build a portfolio website like this? First, it looks very professional, and when employers are coming through looking at your work, they're probably not gonna to wanna to go straight to the code or dig too far into the details. This gives them a high level view about what you're working on right now. This also gives them the opportunity to maybe drill down further if they see something that they like or is really interesting to them. Again, this is a very simple version that shouldn't take you very long to put together. In the future, I'm gonna make a more advanced version of this portfolio website that is a bit more robust and has some more features. So please stay tuned for that video. If you enjoy this content, please hit that like button. And if you wanna see more videos similar to this, please subscribe and turn on notifications. All right, without further ado, why don't I show you how to build this out? So this is again, what it will look like when we're finished. This is GitHub pages, there's some documentation for how this is done. I'll link that in the description. We're also gonna to wanna to just go to our, our GitHub here and we're gonna create a new repo. So I'm gonna call this Ken Portfolio. And we're going to just write a quick description here. Great. So we're gonna initialize this with a readme. Usually I don't initialize these with a readme because I'm gonna be connecting the repository that I made locally to GitHub. But in this case, we're gonna do pretty much everything on GitHub online, so we won't have to worry about that issue. So we're gonna create this repository. And when we build the GitHub hosted website through GitHub pages, what's gonna be shown on the website is just our readme. So we won't have to know any HTML. We're just gonna go through and make the readme look really good, add links to it using Markdown. So let's open just a Markdown cheat sheet so we have it. I'll also link this below. But now I'll show you how to actually build out this website. So what we do is you go to the settings up there, you scroll down to GitHub pages, we're going to connect this to the master branch and momentarily we'll be able to see what was on our readme, on our readme at this web address. So let's open that in a new window. Right now it's not found. It usually takes a couple seconds to get up and running. So let's just kind of wait on that and start building out our readme a little bit more. So the first thing we're going to want to do is where is my, oh. So let's go back here. So the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is actually spice this up a little bit. So let's add in some of our, you know, readmes from our other repos. You've already hopefully done this, so this should be really quick to build out. So we can just copy this in to our new one. We'll edit this. We're going to call this project one. And we can preview what this will look like. So it looks pretty good. We're going to commit the changes and then let's see if the website is actually running yet. All right. So let's check this out. It looks like it is running now. As we can see, our project is there, which is really good. What we wanna do is actually add a link to this. So when we click this, it actually goes to the repo that, that has all of the code for this. So let's go back here. We're gonna go just to this data science salary project and we're gonna copy the link. In order to get a link using Markdown, we put the code, put the text in brackets and then the link in parentheses like that. So we're just gonna make that quick adjustment here. So we're gonna put this in brackets. And then we're going to put the link like this. And it, 
it should be working now. So we see that the link works here. This goes to that page. It should also work in our web page once it is updated. Again, these things take a little while to update, so just because it's not showing does not mean it is not there. It'll, it'll eventually work, I promise. <laughs> so the next thing we want to do is let's add another one of these, another project, and then eventually a couple pictures to make this thing pop a little bit. So let's use this, this readme as well, this project overview. We're going to do this code. I'm going to copy it in here. We're going to change this to a proper header. I'm going to call this project two. Two ball image classifier. Again, we're going to put this in brackets and we're going to link to the main page here. Perfect. So again, we're going to add project two. Check that this works. Okay, now let's again check our portfolio. It looks like this one is updated, so we can see that it links correctly to the page. The other one, again, whenever the page refreshes or whenever it loads, that will be in there. After that, we're going to want to add a couple images to this, to this readme. So as you can see in some of the, uh, in this readme example, for example, we have this image, uh, these three images. What you're going to want to do is you're just going to go here and save the image to your, you know, wherever it is on your local computer. Uh, we, we can't do the images the same way as we did in this repo where they're just sitting in, um, sitting in the repo and you link to them. We're going to have to create a special image folder in our web based repo here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go into into here, we're going to create a new file called images. And then we're, you just put the slash to make it, um, make it a new thing. And we're just going to add a readme document here. So this is going to be kind of a placeholder, but we're going to upload a couple of the image files that are relevant here. So I've already downloaded them. They're just these two. And we're just going to add it files. So the next thing we need to do is we just have to link the images in here and we can use a lot of the same stuff we did in, in for example, like this readme. So we know the image it looks like this. We don't actually have any alt text. So we can just um, go in here. We can copy the image in. We can remove the alt text and let's go figure out the location of those images. So we can click here. And for the first one, it's positioned by state. So we're gonna copy the link address. And then we are going to just put that link address right here. There we go. Um, let's do the same for the other image, which we can find here, the matrix results, copy link address, and then we put that down there. Perfect. All right, so now we can see in the readme, the images are in there, they look pretty good. They should be showing in our website now. So it looks like this is still lagging a little bit behind, but we see everything that we'd really want to see there. You can put as many projects in as you want. Again, I generally recommend at least four where you talk about classification, regression, clustering, and then you do some sort of deep learning or NLP or computer vision project. The more projects, the better, frankly, and the more interesting they are and more, the more unique they are, the better. 
I have a ton of videos, uh, an actual playlist that I've linked above and below, where I talk about all the intricacies of projects here. So let's try and refresh that one more time. It looks like we're not getting any images as of right now, but let's try and fool around with some different formatting. And I'll show you how to actually make this look a little bit prettier using some built-in themes. Again, this is just supposed to be the simpler version. In the next version of this video, I'll be using some actual HTML. So we're gonna go into back into this file. We're gonna go down here to settings and we can choose a theme here. So this uses Jaffle. Uh, let's just choose this theme. It looks pretty good. And so it'll apply this theme to our readme up there. So we'll be able to see um, like that formatting attached to our little page here. All right, so now you can see that it's refreshed. This is how it looks. It appears that we're still having a little bit of issues with the images, so let's go back and try and fix that. So again, it seems that they're showing pretty well here. Um, let's see if we can get them to actually show on our page. All right, so for the image, issue we're having here, it looks like I just have to go in and change the path a little bit. So we're going to be using a slightly different path than the whole, uh, the whole thing here. We just have to have the images like this, and it should still display clearly in both places. So we're still seeing them here, even with that adjustment. Again, it'll probably take a little bit of time for this to refresh and show up in our actual web page. But as you can see, this is pretty well styled already. There's a lot of good features here. Um, and this looks very professional. You can convey exactly what information you want to, to have uh, overall. So, you know, obviously this took me, you know, around 10 minutes. If you're not talking through it, it'll probably even take you a shorter amount of time. So as I refresh it there, we can now see that these graphs are in there. Uh, if we want to real quickly kind of turn off the, uh, the formatting that we did, the theme, it'll look almost exactly like this on the web page. So I hope that this video shows you how to really easily create a professional looking data science portfolio page with really little effort. I think that a portfolio will help you stick out to employers. And this is something that will convey to them exactly what you want them to see in the fastest way possible. Again, sifting through a GitHub profile can be time consuming, and this is a way to give them a kind of highlight reel of the things that you've worked on or are working on. In the future, as I had mentioned, I will post a video where I do a, a more advanced version of this, where we use some HTML. Maybe we borrow a template and, and put a lot of our information in there. That will look even more professional, but it will be more time consuming. As usual, thank you so much for watching and good luck on your data science journey.